Hi, welcome to automation testing that in please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get the notifications. In this video, we will see locators in selenium. Okay. What is locator? Locator in selenium use it to identify or find the elements on the web page using the given match. You need to find an element on the web page. So for that, we'll use locators using the given match. What is given by what do you mean by given match? So we'll see. So the simple definition that a locator in Selenium use it to identify or find the elements on the web page using given match. So to interact with any web element on the web page in Selenium, first we need to identify that element uniquely. So we'll say elements. We are finding the element on the web page. That is the reason we'll say a web element. We'll see what is the exact web element. But to interact with any web element on the web page in Selenium, first we need to identify that element uniquely. For this, we will use different types of locators which are available in Selenium. So Selenium is giving so many locators. By using those locators, you will identify that element. Once you identify the locator, it should not change frequently. Okay? If it is changing, your script will fail. That is the reason while you are identifying the element, make sure that it should not change frequently. So while identifying the locator, make sure it should not change in the future, even DOM changes. DOM means the HTML code behind that web page. Okay. The available locators in Selenium. So Selenium is giving so many locators, right? So those are ID, name, class name, link text, partial link text, tag name, CSS selector and XPath. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 types of locators. So this is one of the interview questions. People may ask that, what are the locators available in Selenium? You need to mention these 8, ID, name, class name, link text, partial link text, tag name, CSS selector and expo. We'll see one by one. What is ID? You see that ID is the most efficient and preferred way to locate an element. This is one of the attributes to the tag. Okay. Most preferable element means locator. This is to identify the element. This is one of the attributes to a tag. The idea behind put an ID to an element is to identify an element uniquely. This is something like student ID, employee ID, something like that. Developers may put or may not put IDs to the tags always. It purely depends upon the developer. He put the ID or not. We are not sure. When we use ID to locate elements, then finding an element is accurate and fast. So the reason just we discussed in the previous video that if you have an ID, then it is easy to identify that person. Right. ID will get higher priority over all other locators. And among eight, ID will be the higher priority. You see here, sample tag, something like input type equal text. Class is called form control, ID equal to F name, name equal to first name. Here you have three attributes that is class, ID, and name. So when you find that element in Selenium, you will write something like this driver dot find element, driver dot find element by dot ID. By is a class, inside that you will have ID is a method. By that ID, you need to mention that ID value. ID value is F name. Okay. Driver dot. We have seen the sample program in our previous video that web driver driver is equal to new Chrome driver. And the driver dot get is a method the same way driver dot find element by dot ID. You need to mention this ID to find that element. So we'll see only theoretically in this section. Then in our coming videos, we'll see what exactly it is applicable by, by writing some code. Okay, then we'll see next one. Name. Name is also one of the attributes to tag. The name attribute specifies the name of a tag. The name attribute used to reference form data after a form is submitted. Right? Name is also one of the attributes. The name attribute specifies the name of a tag. And then the most of the times the name attribute is useful for the uh, to submit a form data you will submit some data right uh, 
in that situation the developers will use name attribute so the same example we have taken input type equal text class is equal to form control id equal to f name and then name equal to first name the same way driver dot find element when you say by dot in our previous slide we have seen that by dot id here by dot name you have one more option to find the element by dot name then you need to mention the the name first name then by using this name attribute it will identify the element on the web page then we'll go to the next class name class is also one of the attributes to tag the class attribute specifies one or more class names for an element sometimes class is a combination of multiple classes okay here we have form control class is called form control there may be a form control 2 form control 3 the combination of this form control and form control 1 it depends upon the the web page how you develop it the class attribute is mostly used to point to a class in a style sheet means most of the times the class is to apply some style styling more than one element may use the same class name the same kind of element are there same styling you need then you you use same class well it may not useful to identify the element uniquely so more than one element using the same class name then it is not possible to identify that element uniquely by using class name combination of classes can be used to identify the element uniquely sometimes combination of classes is helpful to identify the element okay this is the brief description about the class and you see that the same example then driver dot find element by dot class name you need to mention the class name if the class name is unique you can identify that element uniquely if it is other element is also having the same element same class name then it is not possible okay the next link text link text can be used to identify only anchor tags right anchor tag means links links on the web page so if you have a link for that link you will have a some set text the text is useful to identify the element by using link text we can identify only links on the web page need to use full text of a link to identify the element there is a link visit automation testing dot in if that is a link you see that here a href is equal to http automation testing dot in there is a text called visit automation testing dot in and we are closing the tag so here visit automation testing dot in is a link by using this link you can identify the element but it is only possible to identify the links this link text cannot be used to identify other elements means you cannot find a text box you cannot find a drop down you cannot find a radio button check box these are all not possible only links so here driver dot find element by dot link text okay by dot link text then you need to mention full text visit automation testing dot in full text you need to supply then only it identifies that element the next one partial link text this is very similar to link text partial link text can be used to identify only anchor text by using partial link text we can identify only links on the web page but the difference is we can use partial text of a link to identify the element in the link text you need to mention the full text here only partial text we have taken the same example but while writing by dot partial link text driver dot find element by dot partial link text here i am not giving full text that is visit automation testing dot in i am giving only automation testing dot in otherwise i can give visit okay but it has to identify that element uniquely no other link should have visit then it is possible okay, this is how you can use partial link text tag name tag name can be used to identify elements on the web page chances of having more elements with the same tag name on the web page unique identification is difficult with tag name verify sorry very useful when identifying multiple elements okay input is a tag span is a tag li is a tag we have seen all these things right in our previous video so if you have more than one text box very simple example login page definitely you will have two text boxes that is username and password both are having the input tag if you try to identify that element using input you will find two elements if you are finding two elements which element is which one means this input is identifying the uh, text box or password 
means username text box or password text box we cannot see that is the reason we cannot use tag name to identify the element uniquely but your test cases or otherwise your requirement is how many text box are there on the web page then it is useful when you say input it will show multiple elements right so that that way you can use input tag the same thing driver dot find element by that tag name what is the tag name here input input is a tag name by using that tag name you can identify the element or elements so till here id name tag name class name link text partial link text these are straight forward these are straight forward okay most of the times the text most of the times that attributes and the tag name this is straight forward but what is xpath xpath is a query language for selecting nodes tags elements xpath language is based on the tree representation of xml document it provides the ability to navigate around the tree selecting nodes by a variety of criteria we can locate any element on the web page using xpath right sometimes you do not have id you do not have a class name you do not have a name you do not have a, have a particular locator to find element even that time also you need to find that element right it purely depends upon the developer how they develop sometimes they'll write very bad html no attributes nothing right even then also you are automating that application you cannot go back to the developer and you cannot point them that why you not put all these things right they have given some website you have to automate that that's it no other go that time you how you will identify those elements you do not have id you do not have name you do not have class that time xpath is help okay so xpath is a query language and xpath language is used to represent the xml document it provides the ability to navigate from uh, like you know parent to the child and child to the parent all these things we can locate any element on the web page okay by using xpath you can find any element on the web page now using link text and partial link text those are all to identify only links no other elements xpath we can discuss as a separate what is a slide right we need to talk more on the xpath it is not straight forward okay we need to talk more on the xpath very very important you will get so many interview questions on xpath and then css selector it is very similar to the xpath css selector syntax is different from xpath css selector is fast when compared to the xpath we can locate any element on the web page using css selector it is very similar to the xpath but the way you write finding the element is the syntax will be different that's it okay when you go back here driver dot find element by dot xpath okay here the difference is by dot css selector okay the syntax the value how you define the xpath and css will be different but the same way by dot css selector by dot xpath css selector also we need to discuss more the reason is we have more to discuss on that so that is the reason i am just giving the basic information in this slide okay this is all about the locators right this is all about the locators which are given by the selenium here i have given a small table that finding locators 50% selenium api 24% framework development 25% just assume that you are automating an application so in that selenium api selenium api means what are the methods and what are the information available in selenium right how many methods are there there are some methods this is not unlimited right there may be 100 methods or 200 methods or 500 methods or 1000 methods it purely depends upon the api we, we do not have so many methods in selenium but just i'm just saying that you have assume of some 50 methods so once you know all these 50 methods they never change right and then framework development once you develop the framework it will never change most of the times small changes these are kind of fixed 
so but finding element e is very dynamic that element to element change website to website change page to page changes right it purely dynamic you cannot say you cannot buy hard that selenium api driver dot get is a method to navigate to the url get will never change you can buy hard how to navigate to a particular web page you insert the you need to use get method but coming to the locator we cannot say that if you use this one you can identify this element if you use this you can identify this element that is not possible that is the reason i am giving the weightage to that finding if you have a test case test case is taking 1 hour to automate in that 50% of your your effort goes to finding that elements and 25% is to remembering this api and to write the code and the framework development is one time activity but i am giving the weight is that 50% of weight is to finding the locators that is the reason locators is very 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 important topic you will get so many inter equations on this okay this is all about locators now we'll discuss about x path okay x path in selenium uh, we just saw this right x path is a query language is based on the tree representation the previous same slide okay then we'll move to the next one we have two types of x paths that is absolute x path relative x path we have exact x path also but normally people will say absolute and relative x path while showing the x path i'll tell you what is exact x path but we'll have uh, broadly that absolute and relative x path what do you mean by absolute what do you mean by relative absolute x path absolute x path starts with the root or context node that is from the html tag html is the starting tag, tag of any web application or with the single forward slash writing absolute x path is very easy it identifies the element very fast apart from the advantages there are few disadvantages you cannot recollect or remember for which element you have written this x path this x path may broke once an extra element is added in between or an element is removed in between okay you see that example html slash body slash section slash div slash div of one slash form slash div of one slash div of one slash input right this is a typical absolute x path writing is very easy and it is very fast to identify the element and it starts with the single slash and you will find all single slashes in between and then coming to the disadvantage by looking into this x path can you tell me which element it is identifying whether it is identifying the username text box or password text box or first name text box last name text box email text box password text box i don't know all right and it is starting from the root tag html body section div 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 something like that tomorrow they may include some div in between then it will break it will not work it will not identify that element otherwise as part of some requirement they remove some div or some section some form that, that time also it will break you cannot find that element all right that is the disadvantage we'll see everything practically right then what is relative x path relative x path starts with any of the element which we want the absolute x path starts from the root tag html but relative x path it will not with from the html tag where we want means it depends upon the requirement you will start relative x path will not starts with the root tag means root node writing relative x path is bit time consuming the chain the chances of failing relative x path is very less that is the way we construct the x path if you construct x path very effectively there is a chance of failing is very 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 less and you need to write in such a way it will start with the double forward slashes it will not be long as the absolute x path all right it will start with the double forward slash you see that double forward slash star in the square square bracket 
एट द रेट आई डी इक्वल सम आई डी एंड स्लैश डी वाफ वन डी वाफ वन इनपुट राइट इट विल नॉट लैंग एज अब्जल्यूट एक्स पाथ इट स्टार्ट विद द डबल फॉरवर्ड स्लैश राइट दिस इज ऑल अबाउट अब्जल्यूट एक्स पाथ एंड रिलेटिव एक्स पाथ एंड कमिंग टू द अब्जल्यूट एक्स पाथ नो नीड टू डिस्कस एनी थिंग इट स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द रूट टैग टिल यूर एलिमेंट दैट्स इट स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड बट कमिंग टू द रिलेटिव एक्स पाथ वी नीड टू टॉक सो मच रिलेटिव एक्स पाथ यू हैव सो मेनी मेथड्स like single attribute multiple attributes contains starts with text ancestor preceding descendant following so many things we need to discuss okay first go to the chrome uh, this is the website i need to find the elements right then i need to find first name okay how to find the name in the uh, this one so right click inspect If it is a Chrome, you'll find inspect. Inspect Chrome is the best option to find the elements, and it is showing in the right side the code. And when you have three dots, if you select this one, bot, dark to bottom, this way. It is convenient way to find the elements. And previously we have, uh, some time back we have some extensions to find the elements. firebug and firepath for the firefox uh, the very best tools means plugins to identify the element uh, but those are deprecated so after that we are feeling difficulty to find the elements after that we have some other uh, what do you say plugins the trending is cropath you can see that cropath i added here i think i have cropath here you see that cropath Uh, it is to identify the element you see that relative x path absolute x path and uh, something is not visible if you come down i think some issue with this not with the uh, browser it's some with extension so you see that relative x path absolute x path i think css selector that is yes css so you see that relative x path you will find only relative x path absolute x path absolute x path means that particular element and then css selector so selectors how you can find that element okay then you click here go here select then you see that input placeholder is equal something like that when you drag here input placeholder equal first name is a relative x path the absolute x path is same thing so when you copy this i am just i will not use crow path okay i am not using crow path i am just showing you that these are all the alternates but when you depends all these things in the tomorrow if it is deprecated the same way firebug and firepath you will not able to find the element and finding element is very important I already told you that fifty percent of your weightage goes to finding the element. So once you come here, click anywhere, click anywhere on the HTML this code, and then Control F or Command F to find. You see that find by string selector or X path. Okay, here find by string selector or X path. Here by using this finder you can find the element. So I'll copy paste Control V. command b give me one second you see that it is you see that it is identifying the element so you see that from html started with html in the html you have a div when you hover here when you hover here see you hover the mouse on the html tag you see that that entire area is graying out means it is identifying the entire web page when you come down little bit head it is not identifying anything you see that div when you say div it is giving something this some area when you see this div or this div it is not identifying you see that body when you hover on the body this is the body of your html page right 
so that is the reason you should have some basic html knowledge and inside the body you have header you see when you hover header it is identifying only this section this uh, logo section and this menu section you see that when you come to the section you see that this entire web page the apart from this section this is identifying this white area this section so what you can do you you remove this slash html so it is identifying this one you have only one tag but it is showing one of 13 it is identifying 13 html tags when you hit enter you see that somewhere it will be slash html here you see that slash html so when you remove this finding by string selector or xpath string means normal string rate that is the reason it is finding that string also so don't bother about all those things slash html you know that only one html tag will be there that is the root tag from there you need to come to where i don't know when i say a script oh it is not i'm i'm trying to find this first name text box so when i come here down down when i say head it is not possible when i say body okay when i say body it is identifying the entire area so wh what i'll do i'll say slash single slash then body all right i came to the body section okay then come step by step down come step by step down then header i am not interested in this is header section the reason is the first name text box not inside the header where it is it is inside the section you see when i hover in this this area is highlighting the first name text box is inside that area so i am interested in this section no slash section okay i have only one section you see that one of one you need to get one of one means identifying uniquely so then slash so sorry inside this you have one div only one div this is starting tag this is ending tag in between you have only one div so what i'll do Obvi uh, definitely it will be in the inside this div i'll say slash div okay then when you expand this when i go here you have one more div right you have one more div when you minimize this see one more div slash div you see that one of one once you expand this you see that you have more than one div you have three divs one two three you see that when i hover in this uh, this advertisement area is highlighting when i the second div the middle area when i say this div uh, this photo and uh, choose file this area is highlighting so i'm interested in the second div but a parent had three sons assume then if you say son who will respond i'll say first son second son third son then the particular son will respond the same way this is div so slash div you see that three divs highlighting you see once i say once again i hit enter the second one when i say hit enter third one so i am interested in the second one right when i say two two of three is identifying this area so div in the square bracket you need to mention two right now you see that one of one uniquely identifying one means unique identification so when i hover in this you see that it is yellow color highlighting div of 2 when i hover on this this is the one and you expand this one you have form slash form and inside form you have some divs you see that one two three when i hover on this in the first one right full name now then div of first one one of uh, it is showing one of one and then slash in the first one you have the first one is label and the second one is div and third one is this div is highlighting first name this div is highlighting last name so i'm interested in this div means first div you see that first name identification you expand this inside this you have input input means text box slash input that's it after that no more child tags 
this is the ending tag from html to this input you have to come step by step once you familiar with this it is uh, you can write very fast okay but from my grandfather's father then grandfather then father then me something like that very easy okay this is identifying the element uniquely on this web page that is input text box but when i write this which element it is identifying by by looking into this input maximum i can say input means text box but which text box it is identifying i don't know it may be first name last name email phone address password i don't know and in between you have so many divs tomorrow some somebody is you know entered you know added some div in between so it will break somebody remove some div it will break so it is not reliable you have to use when there is no option no other go this is the only one option then you need to use this okay so this is absolute xpath then we will move to the relative xpath okay in relative xpath we have so many methods single attribute by using single attribute also we can identify the element the typical syntax the yellow color is syntax this orange color is example okay double slash tag name in the square bracket at the rate attribute is equal to attribute value t is missing but okay type of attribute value double forward slash already told you that relative xpath starts with double forward slash and then tag name r star i'll tell you what is the difference between star and tag name and then the square bracket at the rate attribute equal to attribute value here one example double forward slash input by looking into this input means okay it is identifying the text box in the square bracket at the rate what is the attribute i'm taking place holder is equal what is the attribute value first name okay so we'll see example that first one it to do click this one you see select an element on the page to inspect click on this hover on this web page go to the required element you just hover now you click when you click that it will highlight only that particular html in this bottom so this is the input okay normally if you hover on this it will highlight uh, if you have some issues then it will not see you see that when i hover on this it is highlighting okay but by looking into this how you construct the relative xpath now you have some type is an attribute placeholder is an attribute class is an attribute ng model is an attribute okay by looking into this attributes you can find that element so what i'll do it will start with the double forward slash i said star right i said star in the square bracket you need to find any attribute at that should be unique the ultimate goal is to uniquely identifying the element it should be unique if i take a class name it may be chance of more you see that form control is a class ng hyphen pristine is another class if you have a space between these classes means it's a separate class so this is a combination of 1 2 3 4 5 it's a combination of five classes so i cannot rely on this so then ng model so here when you have a some knowledge on your web page obviously you can come to know that okay placeholder is equal first name is placeholder means you see that some first name is coming right when i start writing it will go but when i remove something the first name will come that is called placeholder means it is indicating that it is a full name first name and last name it is indicating you mention first name in this text box last name in this text box so this placeholder i feel unique feel in the sense by looking into this html you'll come to know so what is the attribute you need to mention at the rate placeholder is equals you can mention double for double quotes or single quotes preference is single quote okay in the single quote you need to mention that first f y r s t space name you need to mention exactly what is here you spaces all these things you need to mention you see that when you say at the rate placeholder is called first name means you see it is identifying this element highlighting one of one one of one means unique identification right so this is the relative xpath to identify this first name then it can use try what dot find element 
by dot x path you need to give this x path value okay this is the one and ng model is also a unique property here so ng hyphen model but here there is no space in between first name that this is also identifying the same element i can use ng model i can use placeholder your ultimate is goal is to identify the element uniquely whether it is ng model whether it is placeholder do not bother about all those things okay this is i'm identifying the element using single attribute that is called ng model or placeholder now we'll move to the next multiple attributes sometimes single attribute is not enough then i cannot replicate this scenario on the html it purely depends on the web page how they develop okay i can give you the theoretical knowledge but exact information i cannot replicate the reason is i do not have that kind of page i, I may not have the, uh, that page okay? that is the reason you say that double forward slash tag name at the rate attribute equal to attribute value and you can mention and attribute to equal to attribute value otherwise if you do not want to use add for first attribute close and the second attribute you open and close you see that here i am closing and i am opening for the second one the same thing you see placeholder equal first name and ng model equal first name the same example i go here what i'll do the same thing ng model equal first name and and uh, at the rate placeholder is equals to first hive space name you see that same thing and what is the star right i am saying that tag name here i am saying star star means it will ident it will search in the entire web page in the entire web page or when you say view page source here you have html head script body header div 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 image so many tags right it will identify means it will search all the tags star means okay in means in the all the tags which tag is having this ng model attribute this placeholder attribute that's how it will work so it is a burden to your search algorithm right to your xpath means in the entire web page it has to search to make it simple search if you mention i am identifying the input tag right if you mention here instead of star input it will ident it will try to search only input tags instead of all the tags it will try try to search you are filtering something with this condition with this ng model with this placeholder you search only input tags that's it don't look into another tags it is a div anchor li ul don't bother about all those things search in the input tags okay that is the difference between star and tag better practice is put a tag name the same thing so if you do not want to use end what i'll do i'll remove this i'll close here and i'll open here you see that the same thing is happening this is multiple attributes then move to the next contains so we can use contains method to identify the element tag name contains attribute at the rate attribute comma here not equals to here comma partial attribute value or full attribute value sometimes uh, see that is the reason i am saying that you cannot replicate that but if you know these methods according to your requirement you can use then and there you can decide okay uh, this is not straight forward so i can use contains so that is the reason you should know all the methods inside the text path so i'll take the same example input contains at the rate placeholder comma first i'll go here inside this square bracket so double forward slash input in the brackets what is that contains right the syntax is contains in the normal bracket at the rate placeholder comma what is that value contains in the normal bracket what is the thing you are taking at the rate place holder comma in the single quote 
you need to mention you see that here input tag with the contain uh, with this placeholder attribute sorry this is placeholder place holder attribute having 12 elements you see that 12 elements having the placeholder attributes so here i'll say just first right you see that one of one one of one means unique identification i am taking only placeholder contains first so it is identifying the element this is called contains in this situation i have a placeholder attribute unique but if it is not unique then you need to use something like this so that is the one thing then move to the next starts with when an attribute starts with something then you can use that tag name starts with at the rate attribute partial attribute value or full attribute value depends upon your requirement and all these things if you give full also no problem right when it is accepting partial obviously will accept full so input starts with placeholder comma first just you need to replace this contains with starts with starts hyphen with this is that same thing contains with okay i'll say contains sorry i'll tell you the some small difference in the contains if i remove f also is that if i remove f also i r s t the placeholder contains i r s t so that is the reason it identifying the contains when i say starts with it will not find right the reason is the placeholder is not starting with i r s t it is starting with the f i r s t is that that is the reason it has to start with contains means it may be in the middle it may be in the last it may be the first i don't know according to your requirement right it is starts with you need to practice then only it comes by listening just an idea that's it text text equals to text value most of the times this text will helpful for the to identify the labels tag name text is a method the way you write is bit bit different here okay uh, text will most of the times this is that i want to find this full name click here hover on this and click here okay this is full name not this one this label label you see that full name so this is label right l a b a label text is a method you need to mention something like this text uh, normal bracket is equals to, then you need to mention full name star right full name star still it is not identifying the element the reason sometimes you will feel that i have given there is no issue i am this is perfect even then also it is not identifying why sometimes you will get confused see zero of zero the reason is what happened here after full name they have given some space you see that they have given some space that is the reason you have to use exactly so if i put space you see identifying that element label you see that label one of one right that is the reason you have to use exact uh, what i have given in the attribute or whatever the text okay label text equal full name. this is the way you need to identify this element when you come to the label you see that there is no chance of finding the element now go to next one ancestor selects all ancestors of the current node means its parent and grandparent most of the time, very frequent very rarely used but you need you should know so it will find all the parents and grandparents you see that first you need to identify the particular element its parent and its grandparents it will identify okay i have taken the same label text full name and then slash ancestor double quote 
double colon right so for the same thing i want to find this parent and grandparents then double forward slash you need to mention and sister double colon and then div means all the ancestor who, who are div tags right you see that it's till here right four elements it is having parent and grandparents are four divs those are divs if i say form you have only one form right inside that form you have all these things so all the ancestors it will find most of the times not useful but you have to know if that is the requirement then you need to aware all these things then ancestor then preceding selects all nodes that appear before the current node in the document except ancestors attributes nodes and name spaces means see if you say ancestor its parent and grandparents but when you say only what is that appear before the current all the nodes that appear before the current node the current node is label before that all the nodes that's it except ancestors it will not uh, bother about the ancestors okay the preceding a bit confusing but when you practice preceding you do not have any preceding form but you have preceding divs you see 33 divs are there preceding okay this is preceding and then when you go to the next one descendant means it's opposite of that selects all descendants children and grandchildren of the current node okay as a descendant i think typo d e s e n d a n t right correct okay for this uh, full name text box we do not have descendants so for that what i am taking id equal to basic boot bootstrap form okay what i'll do i'm taking here form here you have some form right you see this form so i'll take this at the rate id equals to this one and here i'll mention it is not a label that is the reason it's not identifying form you see that the form the form is having 41 childs and grandchilds right that is how you need to use descendant and the next one is following it is reverse select everything in the document after the closing tag of the current node you see that after the closing tag of the current node after form closes everything it will okay it identifying 52 elements after the following tag mean following means after the ending of form tag okay this is how x path will work okay sometimes sometimes i'll tell you one more example here form equal bootstrap tag so i do not have any uh, particular identification to this first name so we have place holder and we have ng model but assume that we do not have but its parent is having id unique identification the right form form is having id id equal bootstrap form means id means unique property so i found id then by using by using this uh, parent you can identify the child we already discussed it right so in the form from here the same story like how you did uh, in the observed x path but observed starts from the html but here in the middle i found some unique property means id for the form so from here slash inside this div you see that that div inside this div you have one more div that is first div 
so inside this input right but sorry somewhere it broke like this div this div is having okay this is the first div in the form it is a first div inside this if you say div two divs so again first div inside this input okay this is how you need to find that this is not long it is with respect to its parent form parent okay it purely uh, comes with your no like practice and double for single forward slash means immediate child you see immediate child when i say double forward slash you see that 11 means 11 grandchildren child it, it will mean children and grandchildren both comes double forward slash means single forward slash means only what you say immediate child this 14 immediate childs are there with the div okay this is how x path will work these are all the methods to find element our ultimate goal is to find the element uniquely okay now this is all about x path right now we'll move to the css selector okay The CSS selector is similar to XPath. We already seen this slide, right? The same thing I'm mentioning here. If you go to the next one, here also you have some methods. CSS methods, tag name, ID, class name, attributes, contains, starts with, ends with. Okay, you need to know all these things. Tag name. Tag name is the same tag name. Using tag name, you can identify the element. But uh, if you use tag name, there is a chance of finding more than one element but if you want to find more than one element you can use input there otherwise you can depends upon some other thing but as part of css selector this is one of the options if i say input you see that input tag nothing plain input that is called 14 elements are there you see that 14 elements are there 14 input tags are there so i cannot find uniquely right so but i want to find how many input boxes are there on the web page then i can use input okay this is input if you say div i have 110 divs if i say form you see that but here form means in the middle text also coming but i can i assume that here only one form you can uniquely identify this and when you go to the next one id if you have id Okay, if you have ID, uh, what I'll do, I'll go to this. If you inspect this, this input is having ID email, All right? Email driver dot find the element by that. This email means it will identify this one. But here, email, how, sorry, how an email. Okay, first we'll discuss. ID is an attribute to the element or tag to describe what kind of element that is. IDs are unique. If you want to use ID as locator, means CSS selector, then need to use hash symbol in front of ID. You see that hash ID means it will become CSS selector. Here I'll say hash ID. You see that hash in front of ID, if you mention hash, that will become CSS selector. Okay, one of one one of one that's it okay this is how id works when you go to the class name the same thing class is also one of the attributes if you want to find the element using class name there may be chance of more than one classes that is the reason you cannot uh, rely on this but if it is a unique you see if it is a class name in front of that you put dot then only it identifies the element this is an id if i put in front of id dot it will not identify anything the reason is it is the id if you have to put this one uh, if you take any class okay if i take any class this is the class if i put a hash class sorry if i put dot class you see that it is having only one one class with that class name that is the reason one of one but most of the times it is not possible but 
if you put hash here reverse way it will not identify the reason is if it is a class attribute you need to mention dot if it is a id you need to mention hash okay that's where you can identify means you can uh, find the css selectors then go to the next one single attribute the same way we have seen right double forward slash input at the right place order called first name it, you 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 not you you will not use double forward slash here use it here you will not double forward input you say there is no at the rate directly you can use id is equals to email that's it this is using single attribute okay input in the square bracket id equal to email you can use placeholder also placeholder equal to email id for sign up otherwise ng model ng model equal to email id instead of id i can say ng hyphen model right one of one if you put a double forward slash in front of this and if you put at the rate then it will become css select but this is i'm talking about sorry x path that will become x path but i'm talking about css select so input ng model equal to email id okay this is single attribute multiple attribute same way but here you cannot use and okay the same way input type equal text place equal to first name here what i can do ng model and one again square bracket equals to email you see that using multiple attributes got it and then go to the next one contains their contains means contains is a method here contains means attribute after that if you mention star need to use star symbol to identify them star means contains there is no particular text contains only some symbols okay here i can say i'll remove all these things here place holder is equals to what i can say capital email hyphen id but it is not identifying the reason is it is full but i am using contains so what i'll do i'll put star you see that when i put star this place holder contains email id so this place holder contains email id otherwise you can mention for right only one place holder that is having for that is the finding element uniquely one of one but star symbol means contains and then starts with here starts with means cap symbol okay you do not have starts hyphen with so here the same way i'll say starts with means email but here cap symbol you see that cap symbol means starts with if i remove if i use for it will not work the reason it is not contains it is starts with email all right and the same way you have ends with ends with means you have to use dollar symbol right if i change it to dollar it will not work the reason is it has to end with end with what it is ending with the sign up and case sensitive sign up right i can remove sign also up means it is ending with the i can say only p also if you have more than one placeholder with the same input same ending with p then multiple elements but here only one have a placeholder dollar symbol equal to p means it is ending with p right so that is the reason it is identifying that up up i can say n hyphen means in the sign up n is the last one that space up from here to here i am saying this n and space up so this is ending with you need to mention dollar symbol okay this is how hence with will work okay before concluding this uh, we have seen that skip sign in i said here form right form id equals to 
id equals to where is that go here it's parent right form basic bootstrap form right when i say basic bootstrap form you see that it is identifying it. but previously we have seen that at the rate id equal to double forward slash slash div slash div something like that but here you need to mention greater than symbol if you want to go to the immediate child immediate child which child div colon nth hyphen child of one div square bracket one represents x pathway if it is div colon nth hyphen child of one means immediate child and then greater than symbol div colon nth hyphen sorry child of one what happened control x it is having one okay here how it will take label also it will consider right first in the div you have label and then div and then div right three things are there label div div these three are siblings here this is the first one this is the second one this is the third one so when you come to the if you if it is div also you need to mention two the reason is first one quote to label so nth child of two and greater than symbol input right input if more more than one input you need to mention colon nth child of one if it is one unique that is the reason i am taking input okay it is taking finding the element it's using its grandparent and parent if you want to directly take input i i told you double forward slash right the same thing here is just space you see there are also 11 elements identified here also 11 but there double forward slash we use here only just space space indicates all its child and grandchildren grandchildren okay this is how you can use css select okay that's all in this video thank you